Hi guys, um, welcome back for part four, matting, and I want to apologize for the quick end to the last video. Um, camera cut off, I didn't realize it. Um, all I did was I matted my interiors, and I would encourage you to remeasure because I wound up with a quarter inch difference on my back cover than I did on my front cover. Not a big deal, you can make it up with your paper, but you want to constantly be remeasuring to make sure. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to mat these signatures. So it's 28 pieces, I think, no, might be 32. I have four signatures. Yeah, it's 32. Um, and I'm using a six by six. So um, one of the joys of making these albums to make them kind of come out randomly is what I do is I go through the paper pad and I pick out patterns that I like. Um, what I like with Prima Marketing is you get more than one. You get three of each. And then I just go through and I met a signature at a time. So you want to be aware of what's on on your paper and what's on, you know, wh where it's going to be positioned in the album. So for your mats, this first one here, and I'm going to double check myself. Ooh. Okay, I have it written down properly, so that, that should work out. I use um, a quarter inch, so I get an eighth inch all the way around. So it should be three and three quarter inches tall, which will get me my design and my girl here. And you do use a lot of paper, but that's why I'm trying to use up my six by six. And the first one is going to be the first mat is going to be three and a quarter wide by three and three quarter inches tall, and that will be your mat size. Three and that three and three quarter inches tall is going to be throughout. So if you're using an eight by eight. You know, you can get more out of it than you can utilizing this, but so you need two. Don't forget, you need a front and a back. And I just did that backwards. I sure did. That's okay. It's three and three quarter inches tall. Sorry. By three and a quarter wide. This one always looks a little bit awkward to me. Okay, your next mat, again, three and three quarter inches tall. By three and three quarter inches wide. And you need two as you go along, you need two. Three and three quarters by three and three quarters. Okay, your next one I'm just checking out my paper here. Three and three quarter inches tall. By four and one quarter inches wide.
three and three quarter inches tall by four and one quarter inches wide. Okay. Your last mat, again, three and three quarter inches tall. by four and three quarter inches wide. Three and three quarter inches tall by four and three quarter inches wide. Okay. So that's enough for one signature. So what I do, you can do it however you wish, but I do distress. Just slightly. my matte papers. doesn't take that long. If you do them as you go. So basically if you do them eight at a time, four times over, then your entire album will be matted. If you're the type of person that likes to cut the same thing at the same time, you can do that. I find I like to mix up the papers as I go along and once I have it stuck down in one signature I like to go back and make sure it's not repeating itself. So that's why I do it this way. So then I have them at the start again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my first mat, put a little APG on the back. Go to my first signature and I'm going to line that up. Now, my mats are to the right of the hinge. So it looks like that. And the reason for that is this folds, right? If you get your tag in there correctly, it'll fold over. So you don't want to hinder that. So there's my first mat. And then you're just going to go along and mat the ones that you've cut. Until you have completely covered your first signature. Here's the second, 
page of the waterfall. So you've got it like that. The back side of the second page. Just want to take your time when you're doing this part portion of it. Make sure you get a good stick. Make sure things are showing up the way you want them to. Make sure the paper is positioned the way you want it to be. All those things. So there you go. First, second, and here we are starting the third. Where's my other long one? That goes with that. This must go with this. Yes, it does. This is why I cut them the way I do. And I take my time when I'm matting them. Otherwise, I could have messed up. There's that one, and then the last one. If you don't like the hinge showing, you could come over further. It's just personal preference. So there you go. So there is one signature. Try and get a little close. Page one. There's two. And three. And the last one. And it is matted on the back as well. So you just want to continue through matting all of your stuff. Save your off cuts of your pattern paper because that is what I make the tabs out of for the top. And I just have this um, EK Success Punch. And when I'm all finished, some of these larger ones, I punch enough tabs to use it up, and then I just mix them up. So you're going to need, what would I say, four, you're going to need 16 tabs. So I've got some scraps here that aren't going to be able to be used for any other mats. So before I throw them away, I'll just give a little punch. So they can be used for something else. and get down to the small ones. 
And you can do this, like I say, you can do it any way you wish. This is just how I have figured it out, what I want to show. Nine, ten, so we need six more. Like I say, can't use the scraps for anything else, and it'll help reduce your scraps. Um, and then all I do is I get a glue stick, I fold these all in half, and when I apply them to my tabs, I stagger them. So, for example, If you're looking at a signature, I would pull up a tag and I would attach it like this on the tag in the same position on every tag. And that way when it's in your book, it appears like it's in a stagger. Make sense? So I just attach them with a glue stick. Um, I'm going to continue matting and then to dress it up, I tie the ribbons on here. Um, I just tie them right to the rubber band so that way it's still removable and I'll string some ribbon through here to close it. So you can continue matting. Um, I'm going to come back when this is completed and I have my mats in place, my tabs attached to my tags, and then the last thing I do will be to choose um, ribbons and any other ways you want to embellish it. Okay, so keep matting doesn't take that long but it can so sometimes you might want to do it decide to do this in different sessions you know but I cut them all like I'll do a signature at a time then I'll move on to the next one do a signature at a time then I'll move on to the next one but I'm liking how it's coming out very much so I hope you're enjoying this series, and um, I'll be back with Fully Matted and um, with my tabs attached to my tags. See you in a moment.